Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. Okay guys, so before we jump in, I just wanted to say happy Wednesday everybody. I hope you guys caught episode three of the Salty Podcast. Uh, if you didn't, it's anywhere you get your podcast under Up and Atom. And if you wanted to see the video version, well, it premiered today exclusively on Up and Atom channel two. So go check that out as well. But in the meantime, Rachel Levis is popping off and Lenny Hochstein's fiance, Katharina Mazeppa, has left the building. Hold on. Hold on. Smash the like button. If you want to subscribe, dude, you can subscribe. And uh, I got to get into this show. Let's go. All right, guys, where do I begin? Well, I don't even know at this point. I just think it's like... It's like a heavy little shit show of a ton of things. I guess I'm going to start with the Rachel Levis. I think that's probably the best part or place to go. So let's start here. Um, thank you to Reality Blurb. Raquel suggested that Bravo is preparing for upcoming Vanderpump Rules spinoffs and claimed that they have the budget for it. How would she know? She also shared her theory behind Lala Kent's recent announcement about her friendship break with Katie Maloney, as well as a rumor she heard about a full reboot. After a bizarre season in which half the cast barely interacted with the other, Vanderpump Rules reportedly went on hiatus, with some sources claiming it may not return. One rumor suggested that the entire cast will eventually be replaced by actual servers from Lisa Vanderpump's restaurants, and the show's recent spinoff, The Valley, had a successful first season and is now filming its second. On her Rachel Goes Rogue podcast, Raquel addressed Lala's recent declaration about her friendship with Katie, there's no reason for Lala to be friends with Katie at this point if they're not filming a show together. I don't know why she needs to announce it. That's like in classic Lala fashion. According to Raquel, she believes the reason Lala was okay with announcing the end of her friendship with Katie is because Lala has been offered a permanent spinoff opportunity likely on the Valley. I think she's framing for announcements yet to come. And you know that NBC and Bravo, they have the budget for that. They're like, yeah, let's do all the spinoffs. Raquel also suspects that while Lala and Sheena will move on to the Valley, Bravo will likely offer Ariana Maddox and Katie their own spinoff based on their sandwich shop, something about her. I don't see that happening, but okay. As Reality Blurb recently reported, Lala and Sheena have both been spotted filming for the upcoming season of the Valley. And Raquel also theorized that if Bravo launches a spinoff for something about her, Vanderpump Rules won't return with the same cast, adding that she heard through the grapevine that the network was planning a full cast reboot for the series. If that's the case, Vanderpump Rules is definitely not coming back unless they're recasting with a whole new cast, which is, you know, what I heard through the grapevine. On a past episode of her shenanigans with Sheena Shea podcast, Sheena addressed Jax Taylor's claim that she and Lala should not join the Valley. For the second time on his podcast, he said that he does not want me or Lala to join the Valley because it would be disrespectful to the current cast. And like, no one wants us. And I'm like, actually, Jax, I think you don't want us. If we did a poll, they're all of our friends. You're afraid of me and Lala being on the show because we're going to call you out for the shit that we actually know. And she went on to say when the whole concept of the Valley was coming to fruition, Jax and Brittany were the ones that were like, yeah, we want you and Brock on it. Mm. Well, that obviously did not pan out too well because actually, you know what? She's on it. She's on it. I mean, Sheena and Lala, they're both on it. So I don't want to say it didn't pan out too well because obviously it panned out well enough. Anyways, we're going to bring this up really quick. I don't know if you guys saw this, but last thing for Rachel Levis. Thank you to Reality Blurb on X. I think when Peter has something to say, maybe listen. The fact that Lisa is shutting it down immediately. This isn't the first time that Lisa has done that. And I had things at no, risk and I chose to speak out and she lied about certain situations with me. So, you know, I... I don't see Lisa as an honest figure at all. I've caught her in lies. And so I'm curious to know what Peter has to say. So I think when Peter...
Um, that's a strong statement. Remind me, I'm going to talk about that later. I'll take that to the tick of talk. Anyways, on top of that, guys, you remember this relationship? Yeah, well, Adam, that's me, ended up going down to Miami. I went to Star Island. I went to Lenny and Lisa's well, Malibu or Miami mansion, Malibu. I'm thinking about the beach right now. It's like so hard to be back in Hilton Head and not be at the beach. Actually, no, it's not. It's windy as hell and it's cold. But my point is, I went to the house. I did the interview. I got a lot of shit from housewives. They were on sun. And then I took it down to be good to the housewives that got up that, which I shouldn't have taken it down because that was stupid. You live and you learn. But let's talk about it for a second, shall we? Thank you to Reality Blurb. Lenny Hochstein and fiance Katharina appear to have split. Just over a week after the two of them were spotted looking miserable together as they sat outside a restaurant in Miami, she has sparked rumors on her Instagram story declaring that she's free and kissing another man without the massive engagement ring that Lenny presented her last July. Over the weekend, in a series of video clips filmed at Bagatelle Restaurant in St. Tropez, Katharina was spotted ringless as she featured lyrics from Jesse J's Domino, including, I'm feeling sexy and free. Days later, in a post reshared by Bravo and cocktails on Instagram, Katharina was seen mouth-to-mouth -mouth with a man named Tom Gass. Yeah, that's this photo right here. That's Tom Gasp. God. You jump. I jump. They say all we need in life might be just be a little push. Although Katharina ultimately deleted the post, she explained in another that the two of them were just friends, writing, well, this one. Ten years of friendship with this superhuman, grateful beyond words for you. As Katharina shared post after post, there was also some action on Lenny's social media accounts, including the official page of his annual Halloween Bowl, which he was previously set to host with Katharina. In a screenshot of the events page, Katharina is no longer featured as a host, although she still follows the account. Last month, during a night out on the town in Miami, Lenny and Katharina appeared to be quite unhappy as they waited for their car, and... As Real Housewives of Miami fans well know, Lenny was first spotted with Katharina in May of 2022 prior to filing for divorce from Lenny or from Lisa Hochstein, the mother of his two children. However, despite her claims of infidelity, Lenny denied any such thing, claiming he and Katharina began the romance after he made it clear to Lisa that the marriage was over. You guys remember that entire shit show that was hanging out on the Real Housewives of Miami? Yeah, it was a real thing. It was a real shit show. I mean, shit hit the fan. I didn't really necessarily understand what the hell was happening when we were watching it. And I didn't believe that. I really didn't believe that they didn't actually, that there was no hooking up before the marriage was over. But I'm, I wasn't there. I wasn't in the house. So what am I going to say about it? But now she appears to have moved on. She said goodbye to the mansion. She's out there in the public now. She'll find her another rich man. And she's going to be A-OK. -okay. I'm not even going to talk about what my experience was like going there. I don't want to get sued, but... I feel like this was probably inevitable. Anyways, I want to hear what you guys think. Guys, pop off in the comment section, please. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And um, yeah, we'll see you and all of the other videos today on Up and Adam Channel 1 and 2. Duh, silly. Love you. Bye.